Okay, we are live. And we have our mummies curious and going around the room, getting into trouble. Including this void mama here, who doesn't want a pat right now. She just wants to hang out on the cat tree. And the kitten babies are all snoozing in a pile. They're not awake right now. Well, that one is and that one is, but just a little bit. I've been trying to pat this girl a lot lately. She's curious about me, but she's not 100% ready for it yet. But we're doing our best. Hi, friend. She's not too bad. I'm a little bit tired today. So, I'm probably not going to do the hour and a half special like I do sometimes. <laughs> One of the mamas went into this bag. I see her tail. Oh, his big mama, Babushka. Uh, so I'll probably do like 45 minutes or something. We, I think we have one, two, three. I think it's like 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe there's one more hiding in there. So, and a lot of envelopes. So I don't think it'll take terrifically long. How's everybody doing today? How are you doing? Obviously, I'm not coming off the best day in my life, but... Uh, the package openings must go on because I have another day's worth in the workshop and I have had more deliveries at the office. So I don't know, I might have a day and a half worth not including these. So we must keep going. Vika and I are good. We're doing our best, guys. We're doing our best. And uh, we got to keep going. And all of our little baby kittens had had gains today when we weighed them, so everyone's doing well today. And uh, hopefully it just continues like that. I'll be checking them every day, making sure they're all right. Sometimes you feel a little bit helpless, but you do what you can do. It's okay, it's okay. It's part of life and rescue. Unfortunately, we've been very, very uh, lucky, so people weren't necessarily ready for this. But in rescue, when you rescue outdoor mamas and kittens or pregnant mamas there's often you know disease starvation dirtiness unsanitary unsafe conditions so sometimes not all kittens and cats make it but we do our best to save the ones we can and get them fixed so there are fewer uh, out there in the wild when we're done but why don't we open up our packages? Let's give it a start. I don't want to be doing this all, all night. I'd love to be in bed before 3 in the morning. It's 1 in the morning right now. And that might seem like a really long time. But there's like another hour of doing stuff after this is over. So things I'd like to do today. Get your tapping going like that. And then switch to two fingers. Get those likes up. I'd love to see us get to 100k again. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. But four in a row. Four lives in a row. 100k likes would be amazing. So just pop, pop, pop until it gets started. Then you can do this and get even more. You can just get them really crushing them out. You got to break your Corning Gorilla Glass 4 screen. So the guy at the kiosk in the mall has a job. So he can feed his family when he replaces the glass on your phones. He'll appreciate it even more than I do, so there you go. Let's do it. And we have a few TikTok Live gifts on the go. You can feel free to support if you like, but the number one way to support me is definitely to join my Patreon. The lowest level isn't even that expensive, and we do the, the bonus shots from the photo shoots and other content there. And if you're on level two or higher, you're considered a community co-owner of our Golden Tabby. Air potato. Don't want to do it too loud because we got sleeping kittens. But yeah, that's my plug. That's my plug. Feel free. For as little as a few bucks a month, you could see the extra photo shoot pictures or just support content in general. All right, let's open this up. Here we go. Package one. Package one, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Do we have a packing slip? We do. We do. And what we have here is a gift from Carrie. Enjoy your gift from Carrie. 
So Carrie has sent us a gift in this bag, and Carrie, Carrie has sent us a carrot. Carrie the carrot. I love it. And of course, with our farming vibes and extra carrots and corns and peppers, and we've got the most carrots so far, and I'm loving the carrots. So there we go. Carrie Carrot has sent us a beautiful catnip, jumbo catnip kicker toy. What is that? What is that? Is that silica? Yeah, that's silica. So that's just garbage. I thought it might be a catnip tea bag like you get with some stuff, but it is not. We have this beautiful carrot. Let's see if Mama likes catnip carrot. Mama, do you want a catnip carrot? You can have it. It's for you. This is for you. This is Carrie the Carrot. Thank you, Shelly Hibbert. Thank you, Chris Mullen. Thank you to everybody who's giving TikTok gifts. I do appreciate you. There you go. Do you want this carrot, Mama? I'd hazard to say that she does. She is checking it out. Welcome to everyone who just joined. We're trying to hit 100,000 likes, so make sure you smash your screens a little bit. We've got alert mamas and sleepy kittens right now. And we are checking out our first gift, the carrot from Carrie, a.k.a. Carrie the Carrot. So there you go. Number one gift, and mama says, I like it, but I had higher expectations. This mama expects a lot. Let's keep going. Actually, let's do a little bit of garbage while we go. I'll tuck this plastic into this plastic. Okay. Tabby Mama seems to be getting a little bit more outgoing than I expected. Sometimes I can even get her to come over here. Come here, Tabby Mama. Tabby Mama. mom wants to. But what about you? What about you? Do you want to come see me? Come on. Come on. She came earlier. Oh, not yet. Still a little standoffish. Let's go to envelope number two while in view of Tabby Mama. Okay, we do not have a packing slip for this one at all, but it seems we have a dish, a nice stainless steel dish. So there you go. We can use this for feeding the kitties. It's a nice big bowl, so a lot of uh, two, three, four kittens could be eating out of this at once, so we appreciate that. We've got a very nice stainless steel dish. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Whoever sent the dish, I know someone was going to send some dishes, so maybe this is from them. But we have a nice little food dish here, which, of course, we're going to be running out of. Oh, there's me, reflection. Hi. So thank you to whoever sent the food dish. Let's keep going. Okay, here we have something plush. Babushka wants to go over there looking for some food. They definitely have some food left, so that's okay. What do we think's in this plush one? It's quite firm. It's kind of flat. Makes me think maybe we are going to be getting into the cat bed territory here. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, there's something farming themed in here. This looks cowish. Oh, okay. And Mama's trying to bury her food. Oh, nice jump. Nice little goat kick over the fence there, Mom. There is, yet again, a theme on the night, and there is not, not, not a packing slip in there. So, whoever sent this cow-printed item, please let me know. If you remember, if you didn't send it while you were sleeping in the middle of the night, your late night Amazon sleep spending. Okay. 
Yes, for those of you asking if we have a Discord in the comments, we absolutely have a Discord, and we have over a thousand members of strength now. And it is a very active Discord, actually. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of extra floof in here. This is a very cool bed. Very, very, very cool bed. But I'm going to get this extra floof out of here so they don't eat it. I'm just making sure there's no hole in this thing that's causing that. It doesn't look like there's a hole. There's a zipper, but it's closed. Oh, maybe I can just put the extra floof back in. That's not even floof in there, but anyway, it's going back in anyway. There we go. So we've got this nice little cow pillow. And this beautiful, this is so fun. This is like just perfect for the room. This was not on my wish list, so someone found this and sent it. But look at that, guys. It's got cow horns. It's got its own little weird uvula thing hanging down. You know, the kittens will hang off that uvula thing. Burp, burp, burp. Little horns. It's got ears. It's like giant cow lips. Like the lips of a giant cow-colored sucker fish with horns. Which is right up my alley, frankly. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Can you wait until the kittens can get into that? We've got that. We've got our nice warm little barn bed. Like we're really shaping up into a comfy little cozy room here. I bet you we'll see Void Mama in there at some point. Maybe not, but I'd like to see that. What about you, Tabby Mama? Definitely Babushka. She likes to go in a lot of the beds. Well, she's on washroom duty, which is pretty common when we're doing packages, it seems. So let's not pay too much attention to that. And let's move forward. I know that Void Mama is not impressed yet. She wants something else. Okay, all right, let's keep opening. Let's go to a box this time. Tanya asks, can I move in? If you had used two O's and said, move in, then I would have said yes. But unfortunately, now you will have to just stay as a friend. You can't move in. You can just stay for vacation. Okay, box. In classic Amazon fashion, we have a box of air. This is wonderful. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, this is a gift from Carrie. Okay, Carrie, is this Car Car Carrie herself? Yeah, probably. So she's probably sent multiple items. This is Popper Cloth on YouTube and For the Love of Coffee on TikTok. Thank you for all you do. You're welcome. I thought this would go well with the corn from Carrie. Well, this does go well with the corn, but you know what else went with the corn? Another corn. So we have a pepper, and we got another corn, and now we've got another pepper. So there you go. I love it. We've got a lot of kittens, so having multiple toys is certainly not a bad thing. And it's a farm, so you can't just have one vegetable. You have to grow a whole bunch of them. Let's get this guy turned on. We know what to do. We know what to do to turn this guy on, don't we? Let's give him a little rub. Just give him a little rub. And he's gotten going. Now we've got two little Wiggle Peppers. We'll call them the Wiggle Pepper Twins. Get the corn boys going. And it's a party in the hot tub. Oh, do you need to be charged? No, you're going, you're going, you're going. Everyone's wiggling around. Having a good time. There we go. And Mama's still in washroom duty. Tabby Mama's watching washroom duty. And Void Mama's a little bit more impressed than she was a minute ago. She's now interested in what the Wiggle Peppers are up to. Good for you. Will you take a boop? Boop. Thank you. That was nice. We have a whole bazillion of these charging cords now. Probably don't need this one but we'll put it aside anyway. All right, very lovely. Carrie has sent us more than one gift. Carrie the carrot has sent us two gifts, a carrot and a pepper. Oh, if we get a little bit closer, we can watch Mama lick the kittens a bit. Well, we go, if we reach our goals, we can do a kitten close up. I don't think Elizabeth is here to uh, hype us, our Livy, but uh, maybe someone else can start trying to convince you to part with your funds. 
Looks like we're about a third of the way on Tiny Dinies, fifth of the way on Disco Love, and a quarter of the way on Bubble Tea. So I think we'll get at least one before we end. And maybe we'll get to do a kitten close-up today. All right, we might not. We might not. This is going to be a shorter one than usual, so maybe we won't get there. I don't know. Are we going to get to at least 50,000 likes? Are you guys still tapping your screens? Do you even want to? You don't really have to. I'm not going to be mad at you if you don't. It's just something for me to talk about while I hold the camera and do this. There we go. Jess is helping me out. That's Jess the Disciple, for those of you who don't know. And here we go. We've got another gift, and it looks like... Oh, okay, this might be a new person, or at least someone who I don't remember giving a gift recently. Sorry if you give them all the time and I'm just being an idiot right now. This is a gift from Jan Zimmerman and Deborah Johnson. We love to the 11 kittens and three mamas. We watch you every day on YouTube and TikTok from Jan and Deborah in Delaware, USA. Meow. From Jan Zimmerman and Deborah Johnson. That is amazing. I love it. I love that you're watching watching the feed. I know lots of people are watching the feed, seeing these guys grow, watching this harrowing adventure of cat rescue. Ooh, Tabby Mama's on the barrel. Void Mama's gone in to let the kittens feed. Are they gonna wake up? The voids are. The void oh rejected. Void goes right past Void Mama over to Babushka to get some love. And Babushka fills him in. Void Mama scorned leaves the pen. All right, and in this gift we have it's corn. It's corn. It's a different corn than the other corn. This is a this is a kicker corn. Oh my God! Look at that beautiful corn. Look at these little knobs. Look at this husk. I love that we're just filling up on vegetables, eh? We might not be high on protein, but that's why we got the cows. You need veggies on the plate, too. Here, how about you, Tabby Mom? You want a veggie? Do you want a corn? Let's see if she wants a corn. Do you want this corn? Oops. Hit the bag. It spun in midair and hit the bag. Do you want that corn? How about the carrot? Do you want the carrot? Here. There you go. She's curious about the carrot. And Void Mom is curious what I'm up to. Oh, oh, pap. Oh, it's a pap for the carrot. Oh, it's a papable carrot. It's a papable moment. The tension is papable. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, it happened. It was short. It was short, but it happened. It'll be back. The kittens will kick them later. I know the kittens will kick those later. Just can't wait to see a little void kitten kicking that carrot little cow kicking the corn love it oh and we've got the feeding started looks like the voids aren't shy other kittens still sleeping still a couple voids sleeping oh wait that's not a void that's a dark tabby and a void the far one there getting licked right now that's actually the dark tabby the black tab you can see his leg there with the stripes that's black tabby k1 He's a perfectly formed specimen. He looks like he's from a calendar. He's just beautiful. He's as beautiful as I wish I was when I was younger. Now that I'm older, I realize that how beautiful I am doesn't really matter that much. I don't really care. It's all about confidence and creating the life you want, doing the things you want to do, having the freedoms to do the things you want to do or to think the things you want to think. But when I was young, I would have liked to have been as beautiful as Dark Tabby. Anyway, continuing. Oops. Ooh, another nice jump over the fence. It looks like Void Mama wants to be involved in the kitten stuff. She's just not sure how to start. You looking good, girl. Nice velvety fur. All right. Yeah, I like this message right here. 
This message is a gift from Victoria. Nope, not my wife. My wife has a K in there and a, and a Y. Uh, carrots from Victoria. We've got carrots from Victoria. And you know in this room... Boop, 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 boop. We're loving our carrots. So let's see what type of carrots Victoria has sent us today. Nearly 50k. If we're almost at 50k, we might even get to 100k, guys. That's amazing. We've got 128 people in here. Uh, I'm just feeling it. All right. Cosmic Catnip Carrot. Got it. It's by our pets. It has a microy macroy plastic here. Okay. I'm going to have to chop that. Let's chop that. Let's get this thing out. Let's get it out. There we go. Got that one out. You know I don't like microplastics, but it's unavoidable in modern packaging, it seems. At least when you're not buying, like, boutique items. Okay. There we go. Got that one out. That's why we love the trusty multi-tool, because we can get everything done on the fly. Now we have a carrot. Look at that. You gotta make sure you get these out. You don't want little kittens biting on things like that, getting those stuck in their tracheas. Gotta get rid of those, and I usually like to pull the tags off just for looks. I forgot to on the corn or on the other carrot, but let's try this one. There we go. Got it off. Easy ripped off. Did I open it a little? Yeah, I did. Oh well, just a little. If it leaks, I'll get Vika to put a stitch in it. Okay, that's a cute little carrot. That's a cute little carrot. Who would like it, this cute? Oh, it does leak a little. I probably will have to put a little stitch in there or some glue. That's okay. Look, do you want a carrot, Mama? No, Void Mama, do you want a carrot? Here's a carrot for you, Void Mama. There you go, it's a real catnip one. Maybe you'll like it. Void Mama, as nonplussed as ever. Does nothing impress this woman? This is the type of woman who won't even get out of the car if you take her to the Cheesecake Factory. She's not going to no chain restaurant. All right. Well, I'm going to stop trying to impress you, lady. Okay. All right. Thank you to everyone who's sending TikTok gifts along. I appreciate that. Let's see how we're doing with our goals. We are 50% of the way there on Tiny Dinies. About, oh, we're about 30% of the way there on a dis, on the Disco Loves. And we're still about 25% of the way there on Bubble Teas. All right. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, everyone. Looks like we've got a few kittens starting to feed. And the rest are still snoozing away. So let us go. Oh, 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 I found a dropped microplastic. Okay. It's okay, we sweep and vacuum and stuff sometimes. So we'll get stuff like that if they get left behind. All right, let's continue. Let's do this box next. Oh, actually, should I save the... Let's do a bigger box. Let's save the smaller box. Let's do the big. this big box here. Let's do this big box. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I just cause myself trouble? Oh dear. This is a heavy one, isn't it? Uh oh, I'm causing myself work. Here I thought I was going to have a short opening. I've screwed up. That's okay. That's okay. Box in a box. Ooh, dear. That's probably furniture. And in here, do we have any packing slip? We do. We do. 
from Gina Angelini. Cannot wait to see the kittens in the play tunnel. It can be detached and resting area. Enjoy from Gina Angelini. Thank you, Gina. Let's open this up and see what it is we are dealing with. Oh, someone in the comments says, maybe it's a beach chair. And Michael says, if it's a beach chair, it's going in the bonfire. Just kidding. But I don't know if you guys have all been here for that. But during... Uh, a litter, the litter that had the under the sea theme not so long ago. Actually, it was kind of long ago now. Um, that was with Tubular in California and everyone. We had this toy that came called, and it was a beach chair. And they didn't come with any instructions and they were really annoying to build. And then I was sent four of them in a row. And it was really not that, well, okay, up to the window she goes. And it really was not fun to build them, so someone was just wishing me ill will there. Okay, here we go. What do we have here? Well, it's some kind of cat tree. Alright. This is, okay, this is like a bottom of a cat tree. Does it come with instructions? Do you have instructions? Yes, you do. Oh, okay, look at that. We've got this nice little thing. This is fun. This is cute. Okay, let's build it up. Let's build it up quick and keep moving. Keep moving in our lives. Smash those like buttons while I do this. Give you something to do. I'll try to... Ooh, okay, this is the weird little play tunnel thing. I don't really under... Oh! Oh! There we go. It's got a little tunnel action, like that, like a neck gator. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's keep going. Find the bag of tools. Is there an Allen key for my collection? That's the most important thing, and yes, there is. All right. Ma, someone in the comments said the next theme will be items that annoy Michael. And Michael's new thing is deleting and blocking people who annoy Michael. So that can be the theme. Let's weed out all the people for us to get rid of. That does excite me, actually. All of a sudden, I became, ooh, finally a little bit impressed. She's curious about this one. All right. Let's take a look-see. Okay, so that is the bottom, right on. The first step is to attach those to that with W, the W5s with the W3s to B. Okay. Oops, I just lost all the tools. Okay, so we've got to attach the W5s, the W3s to B, and that's these. They're the same on both sides. So let's do it. Let's do it. We don't start with the Allen key, we just start by hand. It's quicker. Tiny Piggy in chat says, I can't imagine you have many people who annoy you, Michael. You're too chill for that. Well, I would say I don't have many people who I react to, but that doesn't mean they don't annoy me in, in moments of my life. I'm just pretty mellow. I am I am pretty chill, so I don't let it bother me. But there are moments in my life where I'm like, oh, that's a little bit annoying. And then I'm like, should I murder their family? And the answer is usually no. Okay, Black Mama just set off one pepper and two corns. The new record is setting off three at once. Good work. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone who just joined. We have 145 people in here. That's a pretty good crowd watching me build this little cat tree. I'm happy to be here, being able to build a cat tree for your entertainment. There we go. That was step one. Now step two is... So those are W3s. Where are the W1s? Are the fatter ones? Okay. Are there fatter ones available? Now which ones are the W1s? Let's take a look. Okay. Got it. The ones are the long ones. Okay, that makes sense. That's gonna be this one. 
These are the longest ones. So we're just using this. And these go into the two holes over there. And so if these guys are on, let's line this up like that. These guys are like this. That doesn't work. Oh, okay. Got it. Like this. Got it. So this one with the rope goes at the back. Took me a second to line that up, but now it makes sense. The one with the rope goes at the back. And I'm just going to sp spin it on by hand at first. You know what? You guys are doing great with the likes. Keep it up. We're having fun spinning it on just by hand. It's a little awkward because this camera's kind of in the way of my body and stuff. But that's all right. We don't mind. Boyd Mama's watching me do this. Let's just, oh yeah, we got that on nice and tight. Oh yeah, there we go. And we've got to get the next one, which is the fluffier one. Probably doesn't actually matter uh, which one goes where, but I'm just following the instructions today instead of doing it all by myself. Because that's going to make it easier. 500 likes a minute. Okay, so someone in chat saying they're challenging themselves to do 500 likes a minute. That would be insane. That's like, you definitely need to get the two fingers going for that. How many trees do you have? In this room, there's currently just one tree. So this is the second tree, but the room isn't huge. So this is probably enough trees, to be honest. We might be able to get like a little scratcher or something too. When we have the carrot scratcher. We have the barrel hut, and we have a nice cat bed, and now we have this amazing, for those of you who came late, we have this amazing cow cat bed. It's like the coolest thing. It looks perfect for this theme of room. So we're really, really doing well today. That's pretty good. 210, someone did 210 likes. That's pretty good. That's a good number of likes, guys. I'm, I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Okay, and now we need a couple more W1s. Apparently, oh, I'm only finding one more W1. Where's my other one? Did I lose it? Okay, guys, I gotta go hunting. I've obviously lost a bolt. There it is. Found it. These W1s are putting this guy on top of here. There it is, you gotta feel around for the hole. Sometimes you just got to feel around for the hole, or if it's moist, you just puff on a little flower and find the wet spot. We're not going to go all the way tight with that because we want it to still wobble so we can get the other one in. Because we need to move around for that. There we go. Now they're both in, we can use the Allen key to tighten it right up. There we go. I, someone said they did not know that I could see the likes as they come in. Well, I, I can only just see little hearts floating there. I can only take your word for it how many you sent. But we're at 70,000, so that's pretty impressive. I can see the running total. Okay, let's just make sure the bottoms are cranked up too. There we go, a little loose, a little loose. There we go, we're good now. The bottom is like one of these floppy two-piecers. But there's going to be more to it than that. Okay, now Void Mama's into, into it. <laughs> and one more kitten's papping her in the face. Oh my goodness, so cute. We still have six little kittens sleeping away. But we have one Void Kitten fighting his Void Mama. Oh, oh, it's an actual scrap. Oh, he's papping her. Oh, he's biting her neck. Oh my goodness, the carnage, the mayhem. Should I step in? 
Should I step in? I mean, I'd be in danger if I did. I would uh, be putting my own life at risk if I stepped in there. Oh, she's a lover, not a fighter. Don't harm your mama. Oh, he's going for milk now. It's okay. All right, so now we have this thing most of the way built. We need to hit up the instruction booklet and find the next steps. Okay, there's this other thing, and we need to put it in with the W3, which is one of the little ones again. This guy here. Little one. this is going to go on there with these. All right. We look at the instructions. We say, yeah, we got to hit those. There's W3s and W2s left. So W3s to put that on. W3 down. So there should be at least three W3s, which are these ones here. And then this is still left. Okay, perfect. 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 Now I gotta do this. We're getting there. We're getting there. Bear with me, guys. We're at almost at 75,000 likes. I'm loving that. We're doing good. We still have 123 people in here. I realize it might be boring, but bear with me. We still have some packages to open. I just have to get through building this thing. Because we always build on camera. Well. That might change one day if someone gives me some really crazy gift that's, you know, a big long build. I might have to put the phone down and take my time, you know, chuck in some headphones, listen to some tunes. Lately, my artist of exploration, an artist who I'm looking into a lot, is a lot less underground than a lot of my own usual choices. But lately, I've been listening to Suffian Stevens which I know is a bit of an older take, but I always enjoyed one of his albums, and now I've just decided to listen to a couple other ones and see if they're good too. Um, so far, not bad, but I haven't gotten into them yet. I find that I need to listen to an album a few times over the course of a couple weeks to really find out if I love it or not. Because it has to get into the back of my brain, and then when it gets in the back of my brain, sometimes upon like the third or fourth listen, after a little time has gone by, an album just takes off. Just absolutely takes off. Like recently I was listening to this band Microwave. And I like barely cared about their album, I thought. And I put it on because I just felt like checking it out again. And it just blew me away. I was like, oh, I'm there now. Now I've listened to it a dozen times. I'm loving it. This one, the last one here is hard to do. Hard to find the hole. Hard to find it. Okay. There it is. There it is. But yeah, sometimes it takes a few listens. Sometimes you have to force your way through an album. And then uh, give it a week, do it again. Give it a week, listen again, and you'll be like, wow. But it doesn't always work has to be a good uh, good album. I have a pretty good ear, so I can usually hear if there's at least potential, but sometimes it doesn't all come together. Sometimes the songs don't form a cohesive unit. I like to listen to albums from start to finish. I like to put on song one and listen as long as I can, up until the end if possible more so than just picking little playlists. I just like listening to albums because I want to hear what the artist intended for me to hear. Kind of into, uh, you know, hearing their entire concept. Not all, not all uh, artists, even ones I like, are that good at albums. They just, some of them just have good songs. But I love, uh, I love it when I can find an album where 
you know, say it's 10 songs, I love to find an album where it's like eight songs I really like and go together nicely. And maybe the last two songs aren't as good, but they're not horrible or anything like that. All right, okay, we're down to the tunnel and the pom pom. So the tunnel apparently. I don't even know. There's a hole in it somewhere. There it is, right there. This is D, and there's a hole here. So I guess you just put it in like that. And you put in a washer. A washer in the top of the tunnel? Looks like it. Okay. That's what we're doing. I guess we're doing this. Where's the hole? Right there. Beauty. We, wow, we're doing good. 85,000, that's really impressive, guys. I really like, I really like that you guys are helping me out. Yep, we got a washer in the tunnel. That's what it said. Following the instructions today. So I guess this is just so the tunnel doesn't break. That washer so that the bolt doesn't pop right through. We are basically done. That's it, guys. That's it. And then this little tunnel kind of sticks out like this. So it's got this floppy little tunnel, which is going to be a place where kittens can play. It's a nice little piece of furniture right there. Tidy little piece of work. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's a nice piece. Thank you, Gina. We'll find a spot for it. It'll probably actually go right there. Because I'm pretty sure I want this tree to go there. And then I'll put the gray one there, maybe. We'll figure it out later, not right now. Oh, the mummies are snoozing. The kittens are snoozing. And these six are still snoozing. Everyone's chill. That took a little longer than I expected, so let's keep on cracking. Cracking on. We'll open this one next. We're at 85,000 likes. We can definitely hit 100,000. How are we doing with our live goals? Oh, tiny dinies. We're at about just over 50%. Disco love 30%. Bubble tea 26%. So we might not be hitting those goals, but at least we're getting our likes. Maybe we've got some new Patreon customers. Maybe someone heard my call to action to support the stream through a few bucks a month on Patreon. What do we... <laughs> oh, I think this is for Dara. I think this is for Dara. Yes. This is a gift for Dara from Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. I'll put these away for Dara then for her birthday. Dara's birthday is coming up really soon. Her birthday is the 22nd. And I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do a little package opening for Dara's birthday. So I'll put these away. We may not be able to, but I'm hoping we're going to be able to. So I'll put those away for the birthday party. All right. The pom-pom. Oh my god, you guys caught me. Where's the pom-pom? I think I saw it. It must be like under the chairs. Where did the pom-pom go? Does anyone see the pom-pom? Where's the pom-pom? I swear it was there. There it is. I see it. I see the pom-pom, guys. It's in this bag. This bag, which is going to make a really great garbage bag. It contains the pom-pom. Thank you for reminding me. There it is. It's got a little screw on the bottom. And it just goes in here. Nice. Well, I wouldn't have thrown it out. I would have seen it. But I'm glad we remembered now. When I picked up that bag, it would have been empty except for a pom-pom. I would have seen it. But good, good thought, people. Good thought. Spring. Okay, 
continuing on forward. All right. Have we found the next person to block and delete? From Faith Catherine Crotty. Just kidding. Faith is a friend of mine. We met in real life on my England world tour. Something to annoy the stream watchers. Well, hopefully it doesn't annoy the farmer too much. And some vegetables for your farm from Faith. Well, that's lovely, Faith. We get more veggies. What do we have? <laughs> well, the veggies aren't in here. So maybe veggies are coming separately. But this is very cute. This is... A bee? A bee? Okay, cool. You need to pollinate your crops. You need to pollinate your crops. So we have a bee. But let's see. What is the bee has? Okay, it's got one of those things you pull out. Okay, pull out and discard. And then it's got catnip tea bag. And a string. Okay, well. Let's just see what we got here. Wish to have instructions, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. I don't know what the string is for. Does it have a little hook anywhere? Oh, it does have a little hook on it, so you can use it like a little toy. Okay, well, let's find out what noise this bee makes. Ready? Anticlimactic. You have to, is this a button? How does this work? Guys, does anyone know how this works? I pulled the thing out. Maybe it's not. What? Maybe it makes no noise. Does anyone know what this is? Other than that it's a bee? I mean, where does the catnip tea bag go? Does it open? I'm so confused right now. Like, there's a catnip tea bag. Normally, that goes in somewhere. Guys, I'm so confused. It doesn't seem to open. Hmm. Looks like it would have had a tag there. But then it's gone. I wonder if this is... I don't know. I was going to say, I wonder if it got returned or something, but like... Oh, there we go! It just has to be hit really hard. I mean, do you just... Someone asked, do you just sprinkle this on the bee? Well, this isn't really intended to be opened, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. This isn't like a, pa a pouch that can be opened. This is just a pouch. Normally, these things go inside something. Right? It's like a, it's sealed. And the reason it's got these little holes is so the smell can come out. Whoa, we made it to 100k likes. Nice. Love it. Either way, we'll keep this. We'll keep this in case we need a catnip tea bag. And we've got a little uh, handle that we can tie onto the bee so we can swing the bee around. That's cool. That's kind of a neat feature right there. So this is like a little like spring for the bee. Okay. Okay, so we can just tie it up. Oh, there's the annoying noise. That is annoying. Let's tie it on. I don't know any fancy knots, so I'll have to just wing it. Tie it through a couple times. Give it a little pull to do that one more time. There we go. That certainly caught her attention.
work. And anyway, I'm going to leave her with her kittens for now. But thank you very much, Faith. This is a very... Never mind, she really liked it. But thank you, Faith. That's a fun toy that we can play with with the kittens as they grow up. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone who's new here. I see we're up to over 150 people watching now and over 100,000 likes. Amazing. That's amazing, guys. Amazing. Oh, look at that little kitten. He wants to come out. That's K4. He likes to scream at me to come out. Next. Okay. Hey, what do we have here? Do we have a packing slip? Okay, this is Gina Angelini. Gina also brought us the little cat tree. Hope Mama and Kittens enjoy cuddle time and Mama Cats can relax while kittens are on at the milk bar. Enjoy from Gina. Okay, thanks. Well, what do we have in here? We have... Oh, nice. This is like little blankets. This is more little blankets. Very lovely. We can always use more of these so that we can... Uh, clean the ones we have so these ones are probably due for a wash anyway so we'll take these out later and use them up thank you gina and k4 is already starting his little wine hi friend he's so cute he's an early favorite of mine because he pays a lot of attention to me it's just that easy to be a favorite of mine. You just have to like me. It's a dangerous world out here for a tiny kitten. Can't let you outside yet. We can't let you down from the wall. All right. And we have more packing slip. Okay, here's a Cat McComb gift. Cat has been very generous this litter and in the past. Thought this might help Tabby and Void Mama feel calmer from Cat McComb. Well, that's very thoughtful. Let's see what we have here. We have a squishy bed. Let's see here. Where does this open? I'm going to guess this is some kind of bed or... Or a uh, blanket or something. Let's think in bedish, donut bedish, maybe. I don't know. Just trying to open it without cutting it. Just gentle. There we go. It is some kind of little bed. It'll reconstitute when I open it, I, I'd imagine. We don't read the notes, guys. Someone said, oh, it'll say on the note what it is. Well, we don't read the notes. We like to open it up and look. Oh, and some, this is a little cat bed. It looks like a little uh, cave. Very cute. Very nice. Oh. And, uh,. It's really fluffy and soft. I think kittens might like to go in there. I bet they would. That's a nice place to go. This is, this is remnant. I don't know if you guys remember. You guys would have to be from really long time ago to remember this. But this is reminds me a little bit of the pink taco cat bed from. Uh, oh, it must have been Sunset's litter with Benny the boy snuggler. Pink taco cat bed, a really long one. This is a similar shape to it. It's not the same. It's just a similar shape. Um, so there you go. It's like a hungry plant. It looks like uh, it looks like the the plant from Little Shop of Horrors, except the cat bed, or it, you know, one of those chain chomps from Mar Mario Brothers. Very cozy. Very nice. Lovely. Thank you, cat. Hopefully one of the kitties will use that, but if not the mamas, I'm sure that the babies will. All right, we have one more package to open, and I want it to be open in the next seven minutes. So let's open it up. Oh, there's little baby birdie. 
call him Baby Birdie because one of our followers, Tanya's cat, Birdie, looks like him. And when he was a baby, they looked the same. Uh, but I am getting close on names for these kittens, actually. For the kittens and mums, I think I probably have just about locked in names for about six of them. And we that's about half. And then the other ones, I have some ideas that I'm not quite locked in. But I'm hoping to get that done this week. I want the names done. I want them done now. But I can't rush the process. So that's not how it works. All right, guys. This is our last package of the night. Doesn't look like we're going to hit our TikTok live goals, but that's okay. We don't have to. It's probably because our hype beasts aren't here. Unfortunately, dear Joda, our across the pond hype beast has been notably absent lately, as has Livy, our North American hype beast. So Livy told me she's been upset that she's missed our package openings and, uh, was hoping she could be here for the next one, but I guess I, I waited too long. I didn't do it last night because I wasn't feeling happy. And then tonight, maybe Livy had to go to bed for work. All right, this is a gift from Charmos. No farm is complete without a barn. Haha. -ha. Hope the kitties enjoy it from Charmos. Okay, you found a barn for the cats? All right. Looks like we're building again. Hopefully this one won't take too long, or maybe it's just easy to put together. We'll find out. Let's get into it. A barn. A barn. Really? I love a barn. Whoa. We got two bloody mamas up on the window. These mamas just living their best life. Their kittens are jealous. Okay, this is a barn. This is a barn from Charmos. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, there's, this is the roof, but um, I know exactly what this is. This is going to be a padded item. This is going to be like a, an insulated barn. I think this is for like, that you can use these outdoors. So maybe I'll give this to Vokra when we're done. But I think this is kind of like an in insulated little hut to put outside. Yeah, ther yeah, there you go. Thermo outdoor kitty house. So it has insulation. So that's nice. It doesn't mean we can't use it in here, but it means that it'll help them stay warm if they were outside. So maybe Volker can use that at their own barn when we're done. So we do have a place with outdoor cats that we call the barn. Um, I don't know how many cats we have left there. I think we are retiring it when the last cats go, but this is cool. Right, so this is not going to be a tough build. It's a very straightforward build. It just comes together with Velcro, isn't that nice? We can do this. Have a little pad in there. Oh, the little windows are flaps. But they can come off with Velcro too. This is really cool. It just all Velcros together. Look at that. Velcros right together. I love it. There we go. There we go. There we go. When I'm done building this, I'll give you guys a little look at the kittens. Why not? We're doing it. But not least, we chuck on the roof, which I guess you have to kind of full. Oh, whoops. Got to get that on right. Let's do this. And then like this. There we go. That's a barn, people. That is a big little barn for these guys. That's pretty funny. Look at that. We got a barn. It opens at both sides, so we got ourselves our very own little barn. I'm wondering if this is probably waterproof and everything. I'll have to find a good spot for that. Probably need this to be removed so that there's more room for me to put trees and stuff. But that is lovely. Thank you, Char. That's very cool. <laughs> 
wonder if I should take out one of the doors so they can just go in without having to flap the flap. I think I'll do that. I'll put the flap underneath the floorboards so that I don't lose it. There we go. Nice. All right, it's late, so I'm going to get going, but I'll give you a little closer view of the kittens before we go. Okay, they're waking up anyway. Hello, friends. Hello. Oh, you've made a mess of your little house. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. This is K-11. It's a girl, but look at this guy. Oh, two of the voids are fighting in the corner. And TikTok has decided that I need to verify that I'm a human being for some reason. And I've done it. There we go. Okay. Baby Bertie. Yes. <laughs> darkest tabby. World's darkest tabby. Gothic tabby. We've got a fluffy little cow. Void, void. Void, void, and here comes the giant beefcake, chowing on voids, he eats voids for breakfast. Let's have a look at this girl. Thank you for getting me to 110,000 likes. We have almost 200 people in here now. Look at this girl. Look at this beautiful girl. She's lovely. She's lovely. You're a lovely girl. You're a little bit nervous, though, aren't you? I can put you down. I can put you down. Oh, there we go. We did. We made our tiny dinies goal. Thank you, guys. Thank you for giving all the TikTok gifts. I appreciate that. Now I can pay my rent. Just kidding. I own my own home. Thank goodness. I bought it before the market went way up. Okay. Who's our top? Okay, so we've got... Cassandra as our top contributor. Cassandra, do you have a preference as to which close-up you'd like? Cassandra, are you there? What would you like? K1. Okay, here we go. Gothic. This is our gothic tabby. Look how cool he looks. Look at his fur, so dark. Look at all these little flaps of skin I get from tiny kitten claws. Shredding me. Kitten farming. It's not a thankless job. I get thanked all the time. But there's lots of little pains that go along with it. Look at this guy. He's a little bit fluffy. Do you guys think this is a fluffy cat? I do. I think he's a fluffy cat. I don't think he wants to be held right now, but he's a fluffy guy. He's nice to pat. He's got a soft belly. I think he wants to go down. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, friend. Go with your friends. Go be with your friends. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Biting the blanket. I've been using the animals as a... Uh, corner protectors I like to put the animals in the corners so that the kittens don't decide when they first go to use the washroom that the corners are the place to be they probably won't okay everyone's getting up they're all getting active so for when this live stream ends shortly these cameras here, we use them to go live on YouTube and Twitch 24-7. So if you want to keep watching the kittens, there's a nice close-up feed. Top down on YouTube and Twitch where you can watch them all day and all night. This camera here picks them up in night vision when the lights go out because the lights are on a timer. So even though I'm not going to stay here forever, I'm going to get out of here soon because I need to go to bed. You can keep watching on YouTube. Oh, hello. That's K6 right there. That's the girl void. We know her face. Her face is obvious for, to me for some reason. I figured her out. 
I usually figure out the boys eventually, but that's K6. 100% that's the girl. We can double check it. Ooh, she got a poopy bum. <laughs> Good thing I checked. I'll give her a little wipe. Poor thing. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, girl? We'll express ya. Your mama being lazy. That's okay. This is what we do. This is what we do. You're okay. You're okay. You can give your kitten some love. It's not always glamorous, people. Sometimes you gotta wipe a kitten butt. Give her a little lick. Yep, 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 little lick, little lick. Thank you. There's a lot of kittens, so it's hard for the mamas to keep up. Anyway, you guys probably didn't need to see that, and I'm going to end the live, so make sure you... Uh, sub on YouTube or Twitch and come on and keep on watching and if you're not there already our discord is very active and supportive and lovely and we have uh, Over a thousand people there now and I've got you know poopy hands. So I got to go wash my hands. So I'll catch you later. Thanks for being here. I'll put the replay up if you missed the beginning I'll put the replay up on YouTube in an hour or two Have a good one. Thanks for being here and I'll catch you later Bye.